Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another round of Ancient Cave Tourney 2023. This is between Temple and Insane Falcon, also known as Keely. And I have the big boss man here himself, Airfram. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, setting up an event in the Discord quickly. So, hi everyone. I'll be back in a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this race going. So, here we go. Now, this is round two um, flag set, which is the no gifts or items flag set, which means you will not find any items in a gift box nor anything to buy in shops. And hey, Azur, I mean, you can always just check the VODs. They're all there and they all get uploaded to our YouTube as well. So there's always, um, you know, a chance to catch them after the fact. But I know it's always fun to see them live as well. Um, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm uh, Attack Slug. You can call me Slug, Sluggo. But don't call Temple your dad. There is something special, yeah. Um, so personally, I think this flag set is super fun. Um, I really like it. But it does... Uh, you know, lend to playing in a different manner. Maybe if you aren't used to, uh, you know, like beasting your way through, you have to in this regard because you have to find items. The item list is completely at random, so it's not in any, you know, specific order. Well, Azur, that's right. We do have Jeff back. Um, but as soon as, you'll see, as soon as one of these guys finds um, an enemy to fight, which we haven't found any, <laughs> you'll see that they get an item drop. Hey, Ari. How, how crazy would it be for a heavy bazooka to be the first item that's Dude, given right off the bat? Right? I know. I've gotten some really good first item drops in my practice seeds. And then we see that it is Master Barf at floor eight. So uh, that's actually pretty dope because I found that in these seeds um the only there's only two guaranteed skips right there's only tiny ruby and ruler skip so you're relying on getting any of those other skip items that you need um from enemy drops so a lot of times you are going through most of the floors unless you get lucky and you know get one of those and find the skip at the same time or you know it's at a, a different floor. Now, with all that to say, there's nothing stopping you from opening the gifts. You just might expect some disappointment. <laughs> there's nothing in there. <laughs> we did just get a backstage pass. So if we find that, then that's going to be a skip right there. The one thing that I like about this, it turns Earthbound into Bashbound because I like to just stomp all enemies along the way then <laughs> instead of avoiding the encounters. That's a funny way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once you spe like start speedrunning, you just learn to look for like the key text, right? <laughs> and there's a star pendant. So a lot of times you're getting these really intense first items that help you, you know, to get through to those next levels. It takes I mean, practice I would be as a stack to have a star pendant right away. That's like check mark number one off my prep list. Right, exactly, exactly. Getting ready for Gaiga, so you definitely want that star pendant on whoever has prey. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, star pendant is end game level. It's a one in one twenty eight drop that you have to farm. It sure is. From those psycho psych psychos. Or no, it's the major psychic psycho, right? Yes, the yeah. major. Major. <laughs> That's such a 90s thing, right? Like, major. <laughs> oh, this game stinks. This game stinks. Oh, he's majorly psycho. <laughs> and then we just saw Falcon get that, um, that same pendant drop. So you will be seeing... Ooh. Uh, the same drops on both sides, right? Because obviously they're playing the same seed. Um, but depending on, you know, how many fights one of them takes, then, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna see some diversions there. 
If you uh, if you run away from the fight though, you do forfeit the item. You will not be getting that in your next encounter. Also, what else? So, what else is there that doesn't get you an item? I, I believe we determined that red swirls were also a forfeit on the item. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's it for forfeiting the item. Insta wins as well. Uh, no, I think it just pauses it, because I think it's only the red swirls that forfeit it. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if you insta-win, you still get that item. If a you red swirl... You just have to swirl... wait till you get into the battle. Okay, the red swirl actually, like, passes by it. Right, Ooh. you forfeit it. T-I-L. Okay, we have made it to the first sanctuary spot. <laughs> and it's the shack fight. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. <laughs> One of uh, you know so, Vanilla Runner's favorite so, fights. Someone's at GDQ. Um, sent me a message in uh, in DMs, and it's a giant shack head. Shack. He's next to. Oh. <laughs> <Your> shack fight. <laughs> nice. All right, some nice levels there for Falcon. Nice. I should be Shaq head. Do you know that Shaq has his own line of computer chairs? It doesn't surprise me. It's I true. mean, he invests in anything that uh, is a worthwhile money venture for him. It's true. He's a smart man. And a very large man. Yes. I wonder what it would be like to stand next to Shaq. Hmm. I'll never know. Maybe one day I will. <clears throat> <laughs> Just think of the Steve Harvey clip from Family Feud. Which one? <laughs> There's like a million air the, <laughs> the final, The final Ooh, money round be. where they're doing the 20 second, 25 seconds, and they're standing next to each other, and usually he puts his arm around them, and instead it's a, on his butt. <laughs> oh, because it's Shaq? Oh my god, I have to yeah. see this. Please send it to me, please. That sounds hilarious. Okay, so Temple is gonna be getting a Gaia Beam soon if he- because I don't think he has it yet. You know it's a funny- <laughs> We just throws it away. <laughs> That's so good. I love Family Feud. Laser gun. Okay, so Temple must already have the Gaia Beam if he threw the laser gun away. I love that R button, Chuck, just... Mm -hmm. It's gone. See ya. So, Airframe, do you prefer using the um, in-menu item equip, or do you still like going old school with equip menu? Uh, it depends on where the item is in the inventory. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another star pendant. Heck yeah. um, oh my god. Wow, that's two. Um, so if it's uh, far away and the menus are getting heavy, I'll go to the equip. Um, if it's close and I remember, I'll do the in menu, but more often than not, uh, Vanilla has me trained to use the, uh, the equip menu. Right, yeah, same. Okay, Keely defeating, uh, that Frank fight, um, probably for a heal, yeah. Always good to get a heal someplace. Mm hmm Especially if you're running low on PSI or something like that. Or psychic points. A gold bracelet. And if it, and if I was mean and threw in the uh, no sanctuary healing flag, that would be a gold room right there. Oh, yeah. That and the lab and the palace. Yes. And Magicant, your mom. Magicant. There's, there's a lot of actually locations. The, uh, the soft ones. heal location at the pyramid. Oh, right. Yeah, it was the, the, the Twirly Man. I can't think of his or name. Star Master. Location, yes. <laughs> yeah. Twirly Man. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this is a Christmas song. All right. Thanks for pointing it out. Oh, we're going to see a skip here. Oh, I'm going to have to turn up Temple Stream here on my side. I just put it on so I could hear some music. <laughs> well, now it's changed. The downsides of Discord streaming. <laughs> now it's... Oh, I know this song. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. This is another Mario RPG song. This is Booster Tower. I love this song. I'll sing it for you. 
That's 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 fine. I do have Temple Scream open up on my <laughs> are computer. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I can keep singing. <laughs> I mean, if you want to create clippable moments, go for it. Clip that. Just kidding. Don't do that, please. Give me your best Tessie impression. Oh no! <laughs> I can never do it on the spot. We don't know what floor Temple's on, but what do we think? Like five, five or six? Did he, did, did, he did just he saw skip? a scorpion. I've been, I've been looking all over the place. Yeah, he did. He did a skip. Uh, and um, Falcon just depending did the on what's, same was one. It, was it big scorpion or UFO. early scorpion? All right, so it was, like a, it was a cute um, little UFO. So I think that would probably be around six-ish. Five, six. We'll, we'll say five for now. Scaraba land. There is a question mark. If you go past nine, there is a question no, mark. I know. But it's just like, I don't want to go all the way through. It's clicking more buttons. I know. More I, don't, buttons. I don't want to click anymore. Boss buttons. man says click more buttons. I don't want to. Don't make me. <laughs> I'm making you. No. <laughs> I'll revoke this key right now. <laughs> goes down. Oh, great. As they're saying, my singing gave them a migraine. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. It's okay. Call her out. Call her out. Oh, a lucky coin. Nice. That's a good one. And a diamond band. We are getting... Okay, so this, like, this is good because these are some really good, like, equipable items early on. So you're not going to have to, like, grind super late in the game to find stuff that you need to feel safe enough to go and fight Gygas, right? Just getting some HP and PP levels, depending on whether or not the big boss man is freeze resistant or not. Right. But it's just, like, it, it, it feels, it doesn't feel very good when you're, like, having to fight enemies on, like, level 7 or 8, still looking for, like, a good weapon. Or like a good like yeah, a they, defense item, you know. They definitely got themselves in positions to just mm -hmm. get to floor nine and grind, or even seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Because those, sorry, that doesn't matter that much in this mode. That's right. <laughs> Slipped into the other modes, so yeah, you could go straight to nine and start grinding. It would be even better if they could find like a a sink and then just like go to town, you know. Yeah, same safe spot, set up base. So Sonic? Yeah, it's Sonic. He runs an in now. <laughs> Literally blue. <laughs> so there, um, there are uh, custom sprites in this game. And the Sonic crew is one of them. I chose all old people in my seed last night. <laughs> there's, there's one sprite I still want to uh, get is, well, of course, by my Discord icon, Phoenix, right? Oh, right. Yeah, you should. I, I mean, I, I got 25% of the way there about or three years ago whenever this randomizer came out i got the tools i started doing it oh you were making it I, yourself yeah i was and pixel art's not as the link to the past one open next to it that's a good idea oh, I'm also using like a good. like that is like a layout sort of to like tweak kind of to get an idea but the the way the sprites are made between the two games are different. You've got a lot less resources on this than you do on Link. Yeah. Little mouse is just leading the way. <laughs> Oh, Temple's Nest has some pretty nice stats there. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. He's probably thinking the same thing. <laughs> A mammoth burger. So that won't work for the burger skips. But double burgers will. And, That's uh, too big of a burger. Just threw it away. 
Falcon's taking on that sentry robot, sick of trying to dodge it. It's a room of disappointment. <sighs> I was going to make a self-deprecating joke there, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Normally early on, I'm excited to see the, sen the sentry robots there, because they're good XP early on. Yeah, absolutely. Chuck, chuck, chuck the bottle rocket. Ignore Slug's self-depreciating joke that she never said. <laughs> Now you'll never know. Okay, King Banana, and that other one's a burger. But we don't have him. He do have a picnic lunch, Temple does, and so I would imagine Falcon does as well. Considering, like, you know, he saved it, which it's a skip item, so. You're gonna yeah, both of them it. are doing very good to not waste the battles. Yeah. And a peanut cheese bar. Mmm, yummy. What do you think is in a peanut cheese bar, Airfram? What peanut would you, and cheese. What would you make? How would you make a peanut cheese bar? I would put some cheese, I would throw some peanuts, and mesh them together. Oh, come on. I know you like to cook. Don't give me that sort of answer. <laughs> Would it be like a more savory treat, or would it be a more sweet treat? Uh, well, let's see. We could get some rude red food, but red food dye number five. We can get some citric acid. Corn syrup. We can <laughs> MSG <laughs> ultimate bad noise. Hey, uh, you know MSG means make shit good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so an item is guaranteed on the first battle with an enemy type, and then it's standard RNG after that. I don't understand that question. Do you understand that question, Airframe? I'm sorry, it's, it's not you guys, it's me. I don't understand how it's written, but the way the items are is as soon as the seed is generated, if you were to take a look at a spoiler file, there is a text list of the items, and it just is a long list of items, and it can be randomly drawn what that item is. So it's it, it, it could be Cracked Bat, Burger, Cracked Bat, Star Pendant, and it just cycles through that list as you go through each battle. Does that answer your question, Azur? Each battle gets to pick that next item in the list. It just keeps moving forward. So it's not RNG, because the list is predefined as soon as the seed is generated. So we're seeing a red swirl on temple size. So whatever item he was gonna get from this battle is forfeited as we were speak, uh, you know, discussing earlier. So that means whatever that was, it could have been a heavy bazooka. It could have been, you know, a cookie. It's, it's gone now from the list. Dirty sock. It might've been a pair of dirty socks. Okay, cool. a good blue there on Falcon's side. That could have been a red. Oh, fleshy baddie be smashing. Yeah, I'm still trying. Oh, auto star master. Yeah, Falcon already got that one. What are you trying to do? <laughs> I'm still trying to decide what floor they're they're on. Uh, five or six. No worries. I just noticed Temple has crowd control on his screen. <laughs> Too bad it's not enabled for this. <laughs> that could be a fun exhibition idea. Put everyone in the same AC pool with crowd control. Make everyone suffer the same thing. Oh, oof. No attorney. It'd be too easy to stack things in people's favor. Yeah. That might be fun for just like a little event, though. Like a little one off or something. Yeah. 
So Falcon is still, looks like they're still grinding away on this floor or oh, maybe levels. There's the or, room. Yeah. Levels are items, but Temple has forged ahead. So we're about to find out what floor they've been on. I think it's going to be five or six. Oh. Six. It was six. We were close. I'm hyper hyped. The 25th DQM anniversary thing. Are you majorly hyped? <laughs> Major hyper hyped. Yep. Nice. The moist sculpture. That's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, At least it was Manny Manny and not your nightmare. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and they gave him a toothbrush. Moist. <laughs> moist. It's a nice track. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Ari, any chance you'd be willing to do the pursuit pursuit theme from Phoenix, right? Well, first he has to do the mashup. I'm, with... I'm making a lot of requests. He has on to this, do the mashup with Tears of Heaven, okay? Tears in Heaven mashup. <laughs> because it can't be unheard now. We just got a Saturn ribbon. That's dope. Falcon's moving ahead. Oh, that's a red. Oh, that's not good. I don't know. Anytime I come across the fobby packs, I'm I'm taking them for just same, the, assuming same. they can't have the bulk amount of XP. Yeah, same. Throw the Star Master out. Throw some fire out. Just get done with it before they can concentrate here. Temple doing a little menuing. Is that another star pendant? No, it's the same one. He got a rabbit's foot. I'm gonna throw that on Jeff. So I think Falcon's about to find the, the room. Yeah, they are. Yeah, he's getting there. As soon as he crosses into the Moonside Hotel slash store, we'll, mm. he'll be right before mm. it. I have a f we'll see if he goes up first because that's the smaller selection of doors than going down. It gets weird in these later areas where like Temple just slept on a robot. You gotta remember <laughs> that those benches and weird yeah. phones are there. Yeah, for sure. to take any of these fights and I don't blame him those question marks could be uh, what are those bomb dudes what are they called oh my god my brain it's not coming to me but the ones that like are made out of bombs and they throw the bomb and they're in magic hand but then they oh, also um, could have been the little molecule mans, Mr. Molecule. Molecule is the small one. Um, what, are the, what are those bombs? Something dudes bomb. Something bomb. Oh. Let's Google it. Oh my god, Man. please tell me it's gonna drive me crazy. I am not a robot, Google. I just use a VPN. As soon as you say it, I'm gonna be like, oh my god. Oh. Alright, that's the floor seven. Sank. Oh, nope, that's the wrong magic can. Falcon's there. Moving on, then be moving on to floor seven as well. Carefree bomb. That's what it is! Thank you. Thank you so much. That would have drive me crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, I lost my chat. Get the chat back. There we go. All right. Falcon is done with the sculpture. Moving on to ooh, Baps theme. But we have a guy beam, so no big deal. I'm just glad I remembered to mute the GDQ stream in the background. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, three hours later, you're doing something, so, and you're like, To be honest, like, I don't remember the boss list. <laughs> I was looking at another screen when they roll through it, so uh, I don't remember what the boss of this floor is. I don't remember seven, but I know eight is Master Barf. Which is... Is that gonna give them, uh, Star Storm Omega? Because they already have the regular Star Storm? Or does it just give you Star Storm if you don't already have Star Storm? <laughs> yeah, Azura, I know what you mean. It's a shattered man. So. I think I'm back. You're back. I can hear you. A T ball bat. Oh, lovely. But some good experience. seed for these two. But we'll see what Gygus is like when we get there. is going to want to find uh, a healing spot um, and probably just like maybe a few healing items if he can get them from a drop just to be safe or you know grind for healing gamma with poo uh, I still haven't seen who has prey has anyone noticed who has prey that is beam yeah they already have a Gaia beam Which is the strongest weapon for Jeff in the game, which is only acquired after fighting, I believe it's the uncontrollable spheres in Lumine Hall for the broken antenna, huh? which is a 1128 drop, and then you have to repair the broken antenna to get the Gaia Beam. It's a lot. It's fun. <laughs> I think I was in that room grinding those spheres for like. 12 hours trying to get that broken antenna when I was doing like a 1 128 run. Just my nip it. Another MBR, nice. Or maybe just an MBR for Temple. I know I saw one on Falcon's side. Only useful if the speed is high enough to take care of Pokey. Well, they have a rabbit's foot, so. Depends on what the stats randomized to. That's true. But better than not having one. I don't know. Sometimes it's better not to have one. <laughs> really? In this... I don't know. If you have to chuck bombs instead. Because <clears throat> then you might be wasting the resource or, well, wasting turns when you could be doing something else. Yeah. Oh, a bazooka. Nice. 
Always, always nice to see a little bazook. And you get a bomb, and you get a bomb, and you get a bomb, and you get a bomb. <laughs> we haven't. I don't think we've seen a single super bomb though. So Keely's gonna move on to Well, you're getting deeper in the cave. Just got that shield Sigma. Nice to see. And I'm gonna pick up another exit mouse. That's always nice when you used one. Oh, and a red swirl on temple side from Starman. Not cute. But not super hard to run away from. It's funny because they're pretty much playing almost exactly the same and Temple just found the room where he needs to go to get to floor nine. Like they're doing like the same things. Just like Falcon's just a tiny bit behind. Oh god. It's just kind of the natural flow. Ooh. Yeah, Temple's gonna reset. Set. He had just saved, so I think he'll be fine. <clears throat> So this could be Falcon maybe pulling ahead a little bit. Yeah, time. Time-wise, yeah. But Temple does know where to go. Falcon still has several doors to go through. Or, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> or maybe he's looking for a heal. I'm not sure. That's just, that's just a useless doctor. Oh no, and Ness is homesick. That does happen in Ancient Cave. Uh, all you gotta do is call your mom. But you'll have to call her twice because you probably haven't called her for a Skagar Express and then it's just like written in that she's like, oh, by the way, Tracy started working for Escargo Express, even though she's like eight years old. So you have to call her twice. Yeah, remember to call two times is the important part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mod is alive. Um, so as her homesick will make it so that, like, Ness is just, like, loses all motivation. It'll say, like, Ness lost all motivation in battle, um, and he won't do anything, uh, bash-wise. I think he'll still, he'll still throw PSI, right? Even if he's homesick? Um, sometimes. Yeah, but it'll just be like... Just whether or not you get lucky. It'll be like, Ness misses his home. Uh, Ness wants whatever favorite food you put in. He lost all motivation in battle. And then once you call your mom, she was like, Why do you sound so sad? Oh, I know there's days like this. Ba ba ba. And then it says Ness got over his homesickness. It's kind of cute, you know? He's <laughs> like, he is just a kid. Everyone remembers, like, those feelings of homesickness when you were a kid, being away from home. Like, maybe you're at summer camp or something. Alright, taking on Master Barf. Temple, or excuse me, Falcon right behind him. Hey, we got that working. Yay! Ooh, we got a raid from Miss Dez! Hey, girl! If 
y'all have not followed Miss Des yet, please do so. She is a wonderful, wonderful Earthbound runner and person. Um, she is part of our crew of admins and mods, and she does a great job. So definitely give her a follow. 427, I was lurking a little in your channel. GG's, I know you've been doing no reset runs. Um, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, please go follow Miss Des if you haven't yet. If you love Earthbound, you will love her. All right, and Temple is through Master Barf. And Falcon is right on his tail. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be an interesting end to this race. Yeah, the um, the floor bosses in this seed have been like pretty chill, Ari. Close behind here. Yeah. You hear any snorts? It's my dog. <laughs> You're just hungry. <laughs> I am actually. I am hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. Don't blame the dog. <laughs> She's loud, okay, but she's also needy. Call mom! Call mom again! See? I had some comments, but I decided to abandon it. All right, Keely is through to floor nine. We'll see what these runners decide to do in preparation for Gygus. I would imagine maybe seeing if they have brain shock. Uh, Pooh was dead on Temple side for quite a bit, so that might set him back a little um, in terms of, you know, the type of stats that you want. Oh, there's a pizza. Uh, for going into the Googie fight. Or was that Escargo Express? I might have, I don't know. It was Escargo, yeah. He accidentally called it. Um, and it does look like they got Starstorm Omega from defeating that bar fight, which is rad. Yep. Ah, interesting. Oh, man. Battle of the ropes. <laughs> I haven't played a lot of Dragon Quest, but I have played Rocket Slime. And that game's a lot of fun. Oh, boy. No one likes to see this room. You just don't. Yeah, it's fun. I liked it. This is the best floor nine room. <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to convince Chaz to put a door at the opposite side of the room. Ugh. This is a good floor nine room in a regular, like if, you know, you weren't playing this flag set because you could take the time to go and loot the gift boxes and get some pretty good stuff, most likely. But it's still just like so far. Like, it's just so slow. Yeah. Cool. Ugh, an evil eye, gross. Better not look at the sun today. It's bright out and hot. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm here too. It's like 86. Oh, we got a reset on Falcon side. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. I bet we'll see one on Temple side as well. No? No? Temple's gonna not take the time to reset. Temple's gonna walk. Yeah. 
must have gotten something that he liked or just going for the experience. Yeah, because like I said, his poo has been dead, so he might not have brain shock at all. I don't know. For some reason, personally, I had the hardest time getting onto these geysers. Sometimes I'm just like stuck in front of it and it doesn't let me out when it goes off. I usually just keep pressing forward if I'm right there, like, please, please work. <laughs> please just go off or something. Sometimes I feel like, is it like, why isn't it working? Uh, you know. But sometimes I can be impatient. No. I'm usually very patient, actually, but sometimes I can be impatient. It's true. It's the truth, so listen. <laughs> What is that? What is that little sprite? That's cute. All right, I don't know if we mm, saw... Uh -huh, okay. Monokuma, maybe, I don't know who that is. So Falcon with a bit of an advantage right now. Check fight. Hello, Roy Story. Thanks for the good luck. Oh my gosh. Look at all those enemies on Falcon's side. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Except we're using the Star Storm like it's nobody's business. <laughs> well, he knows there's a bench down there, so get all that exactly. psychic points back. And Falcon was like really close to one, unless he moved further than I noticed. But I don't know. When you got that experience right there, just just unload. Mm -hmm. Unless there was a Starman Super. There. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the bazooka? No, I just, just look. Oh yeah, the bazooka too. Just looking at, start the game surrounded by enemies. Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch that. <laughs> Starts right up. There's about four or five enemies surrounding the save point. Cute. <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> Ooh, magic truffle, magic pudding. It's a good save point. <clears throat> But it's like almost guaranteed that if you sleep at that bench, there's gonna be sprites there when you are done. I don't know, just sleep again, hope it goes away. Especially if it's a real bad set. That's true, at least try and get a better set of enemies. Right, if it's one that's gonna wreck you, just, yeah. just sleep again. Okay. We've you'll spend you'll time. spend uh, more time trying to get out of the battle than you would uh, right. sleep again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to Air from He is wise. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a washed up speedrunner. <laughs> Old news. I just sit perpetually at the 420 point on the leaderboard. Nice. <laughs> So Falcon's gonna look around for side. Which talk to I Tony, talk to Tony. Think might be the way to go. Because these enemies aren't as high level. And it was it was the way to go because well, we have one more door. Oh wait, never mind. There's a there's a dinosaur. Yikes! A wetnosaur. There's a skip. No one found. Let's see I mean, the good thing right is when away. you 
at this point, you can start skipping enemy encounters when you feel like you're set up and don't worry too much about what you miss. Yeah. Because even if it is another star pendant, you're so loaded at this point. Yeah, they're even skipping Oh, that's going to be important. Sink heal. Oh, he's going to set a mouse there. Nice. Good choice. Let's see. It's, a little, it's the... Uh... Saturn Valley Cave right out of the Monotoli building, so it's not a it's not a terrible location for it, depending on where Gygus is in location or um, relative to it. doors to check i think well actually i think it's just um the bridge yeah the bridge the entrance maybe i don't know did he look at the museum oh maybe the bakery oh bakery yeah this temple's gonna go straight oh the temple's bridge. going a different way Both dead ends, okay. It's like bakery might Bridget be the to ticket. Oh, the bakery is the ticket. Oh. If your temple goes and straight temple's there. And there next. Go, oh, go. Oh. Nope. Puffle? What's puffle? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, this, this is, is so exciting. I know. So Falcon did find that full heal. Oh, yeah. They're set up. They're set up for sure. It's going to be how they handle this fight. is going to be a nail biter. All right, Falcon's already there talking to Pokey. Temple set in his mouse. What, where are he uh, going? He's going to look for a base of operations before going in. Okay. This could be the Oh, man. Oh, he's going to go right back to Magicant to his known known um save spot right there, I think. Well, we're going to see how this first fight goes. Oh, man. Right. Pokey is not have... Well, we don't know how Pokey is going to be with the paralysis. Keela's going to try it again. It's going for Brain Shock on Gygus. Oh my god. I still don't know who has prey. <laughs> still don't know. I, I always start looking at phase two. It's like, all right, we can we can oh, chill Jeff. a little bit. Who it's has prey, Jeff. Jeff? <laughs> so so I the think good thing about what Temple's just... doing here. He's just looking setting for a up heal, the save right? spot to keep going. Heal and a save, right? There, there's the bench and the phone right there, so uh -huh. he can heal, save, and he'll be set to go for every single reset that he may have to take. Yeah. Where we don't know where Falcon saved at last. It'll be it'll be here. I believe here is the last spot as well, last phone they came across. Okay. So he would have to make his way back to the sanctuary healing spot and then back to Gigas. Gigi. Yeah. And make sure he brings his credit card next time. <laughs> okay. Temple's going in. And that that paralysis is not working on. No. Did uh, Falcon throw out the MBR? Didn't see if it landed. I didn't notice either. <laughs> we 
already saw Jeff started working at a burger joint. Mm, burgers. I could go for a good, good burger. Not a chain burger, but a good oh, burger. Oh, yeah, same, same, same. There's a place here called Rodeo Goat, and it's so good. I don't know. After this, I'm going to be throwing some uh, steaks in the oven and do some reverse searing when it's all done. I'll be I'll be happy in a couple of hours. Yeah, super resistant to paralysis. 607 with the MBR. Got the shield. I don't know. As a viewer, this is exciting to watch. As a player, I hate this. <laughs> Ooh, he's tearing into ya! Harry, can I come oh. over for the reverse sear steak? <laughs> if you could find me. <laughs> okay, thinking what to do, what to do. So Please. Temple went for the double, went for the brain shock on Pokey here. And since the uh, rabbit's foot is no longer necessary, swap to the star pendant. Smart. Get the extra defense. Okay. This is this is where Temple's vanilla experience might edge him out over Falcon, depending on how it just goes. Definitely. It's not necessarily like you don't have to have like loads of vanilla experience to play Ancient Cave, but it does not hurt at all. Right. It, it just gives you the edge of, all right, A is not working, what's B, what's C, what's D, and then what's yellow? Yeah. Um, yeah, happened? the music paused on my side, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it wasn't just you. Falcon's into two. Oh, Falcon's into phase two. Oh, man. Trust me on the dark But it looks road. like Jeff is on his way out. And Jeff. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> got the clutch heal! <laughs> no! That's insane. He's going to pray it out. Use a magic oh, truffle good. on He's got Pooh. pudding to get a couple PP back to Pooh. Oh no, they fucked up. No. Prayed no. everyone to sleep. Temple's trying that paralysis, it's not working. Trying to get through this phase one. So between, between the bazooka, the brain shock, and star storm. He's still trying that paralysis, it don't work. But he don't know that. Oh, he didn't throw out the brain shock. Okay. Oh, he got the nub on! Whoa! We. It's like I'm having a hard time reading your Discord stream. It's starting to fade out and all the giga stuff. <laughs> oh no, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm just making it bigger now. Okay, well, Simple's still in phase one. Um, Falcon Stars is from Omega. That should... moving oh. through phase two. And phase two looks to be heavy in the HP. Yeah, getting off a couple of those Star Storms there, and then it still stands. Yeah. There's like eight. Okay, we're into phase three now with Falcon. Phase three. And Temple's moving right into phase two. Oh boy. This is close. No! 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 Are you serious? Why? Slug, did you not set up the transparencies? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh. 
Uh, we are right at the hour mark. Twitch does force that now, which means I got to keep an eye out to see if I can. Oh, wait. Did we did we just go? Oh, we must have just went to ads ourselves. There, we're back. Yep, there, yeah, there's the chat commercial. Sorry, folks. Twitch is forcing it. It's we we try to delay it for as long as possible, and I missed the snooze button. Yeah. Oh, and a big revive on Temple side. Falcon in prayer sequence. Um, unless something crazy happens. Uh, well, thunder's still a thing. Yeah. Temple throw in those star storms. It'll be interesting if the difference is the time it took for Temple to go save and put in his meme. Right. Assuming Temple gets through this phase intact. Oh, and a solidify. That's you hate to see that in this fight right now. Falcon just moving on through the prayers. Thanks, Optum. Temple in the same situation as Falcon was going into this. Falcon, I think, has two prayers left. Yep. And Temple's moving right into the prayers right now as he's finishing them. I think if Temple would have just gone straight into this fight, he would have taken it. Uh, I think it would have been just a... It's going to be just a little more from my guesstimate. Nothing you also don't know where the RNG chain would have landed. That's going to be a GG for Falcon. Nice yep. job. Super close race. Both played really, really well. Um, ne nearly identical, honestly. It just flowed really well that way. There wasn't really too many divergences they could have taken without possibly going down a hole. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was very, very close for a very large portion. I mean, even to the point of, like, they were doing the same movements and, like, the same things. Sorry, just ripped my headphone jack out of my thing. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, Falcon's going to take it. G, uh, G's. I am so glad that I decided to stream this because it was such a fun race to watch and it's always exciting when they're so close so that means keely is going to move on in the winner's brackets temple will be Moving down to the loser's bracket with all the rest of us plebs. Keely's gonna have to face off against Sarah. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> A Euro battle. France versus Britain. Maybe Keely can play at some reasonable time of the day. Right? Now. Yeah, maybe they can not have to play at like 2 in the morning or I don't know what time it is where Falcon is. <laughs> we'll have to find a restreamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Not me. Alright, Temple has one prayer left. Just if just like almost exactly two minutes behind. Man, you gotta th you gotta wonder if it was going back for that heal or if it was the meme, you know, the the uh 
typing out what whatever you want instead of going for his normal butts you know he usually goes butts so i think my my first instinct to say is it's not the it's not naming the player that put it over and i don't think it's going back because simple got back to the save point fairly quickly mm -hmm. i think i think just got outplayed by a few seconds and yeah. that's just the nature of the rng because sure. because who knows Temple could have embodied if he went right in true true it is hard it's hard to say because it was also just so close you know like very evenly matched race yeah this was this was either one throughout the entire thing All right, cool. Well, we do have another, we have two more races today. Um, we have a race at, coming up at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. That's gonna be IQ versus Satake. That's also a round two race. Um, and then we have at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, we have Cool Ball versus Nick Knock. Also round two. That's going to be in the lower brackets. So make sure you check those out. I'm going to go eat some food and I will be back. I'm going to go cook some food. I'm a, well, I got to, yeah, I got to cook my food first. So I'll be back. Y'all have a great All evening. Right. And we'll see you here in a, in a couple hours. Bye. See you later.